Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are gonna see if we can manage to put that Hewlett Packard storage box in here and um, yeah I will have to take out a blade sensor and an HP um, UPS that is located let's see that let's go down 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 here is a blade sensor and beneath it is a Hewlett Packard UPS and um, that storage box is very big it goes uh, very far in behind uh, the racks so if I if I just take out the blade sensor here and put that storage box there I will have no access to the connections of that UPS so what I will have to do is take out the blade sensor and take out the, the, the UPS and then put the storage box in and then put a UPS on top I might actually be switching to an IBM UPS instead of this HP uh, this HP has a couple of uh, burned off connections in the back otherwise yeah it has a good battery pack that's only a year old um, but I'm gonna try and take this blade sender out first um, and I have a have a trolley for that right here so um, <laughs> that's just outside of you okay there is a trolley so we're gonna see if that will um, will come out and uh, I put a blanket on it uh, I have never actually used that blade sensor uh, so there is no reason for it to be there and um, yeah blade sensors are heavy so we will see if we can manhandle that this is a IBM blade sensor and it's a what is it is it a, I think it's an E I believe it's an E sensor so, yeah it's a three person lift it is empty so how do I get that out of the door hmm okay so now we have it good enough so we can maneuver it around There. Yes. Okay, the blade sensor has magically disappeared. Um, well, you kind of saw where it went, or that it went out. And I have been um, disconnecting all the power going out of the UPS here. But I think I'll just remove the rails here. Um, these rails are the ones that was holding the blade center. Not very good at that. Well, they were, but they are not the right rail for it. I did a video very long ago upgrading this screwdriver to lithium ion cells. It's originally um, nickel gallium or something, um, and I upgraded it, and it has been working great ever since. Before that, it was always out of power because those cells was never able to hold power. Have to go around the back. The rails are loose. These are nice in the way that they don't take up much room when they're not in use. But that's about it. They do use these screw things, those square things that you put in the rack, uh, which are sometimes irritating to get out of there again sometimes it's really easy this one is easy but sometimes they're really hard so can we power this off seems to be off okay so now i just need to remove power guess we can do that Are you gonna shut down? Come on. Yeah, it's off. Everything else is on grid power right now. 
I didn't continue the solar power project when their inverter died on me. I want to wait a little bit and see if I can come up with uh, some safe way to do that. So yeah, we need to move this and it's heavy. So down here I have two IBM UPSs. They should be exactly like this HP UPS. Otherwise than not having battery packs, they should be okay. So where this HP UPS is has a couple of burned down connections. They have had a bad connection, a plug sitting in there with a bad connection and they have been sparkling, making a welding arcs ish and melting stuff in there. I want to put in one of these instead. I uh, have no idea which one of them, but we're just going to pick one, probably the top one because that might just be the easiest one to get to. So yeah, I will um, therefore take out the battery pack of this one. Oh, this this UPS has caused me so many problems over the years. I have wasted so many batteries in it. Probably not the UPS's fault. Probably just because the batteries were really bad. But and I got a kind donation, and someone just PayPal'd me enough money so that I could replace the batteries for it. That was awesome. So. Um, that's uh, 10 good cells here. We need to put those somewhere good. Yeah, I have an empty plastic thingies here. Uh, look at how corroded that is. Something acery is eating up the metal here. But we're gonna just gonna put it in there. It's gonna be out of the way. And hopefully one of those IBM works. Otherwise, <laughs> it will be coming out again. Put this metal thing back also along the way I've lost a screw for it maybe that will pop up today who knows it might be underneath it somewhere I've done quite a lot of videos where I try to restore batteries for these UPS's the IBM UPS's came with batteries and they were uh, rather bad so I tried to charge them and do stuff and nothing really worked but I did a did a, did a lot of videos trying to funny thing these UPS's are really cheap once the batteries run out so, let's see if this comes out how did I mount that back in the day I forget oh <laughs> okay that's um i'm not gonna get a lot of street respect for that i'm sure uh, i'll show you i mounted it on a metal rod i'm just laying here i didn't have any rails for this so i had to put it in the bottom here and i came up with that it could lay on a piece of pipe like that um so yeah it has been working great for many years so that's it's a win ninja hack i better show you this one that was the one that is broken um so yeah it doesn't look good all the other connections are great this one not so much i thought it was more than one it is only that one and ups has still been working for years after that um mishap <laughs> so let's see if we can release these mm. it does not want to go but, but, but I've been sitting here, I've been doing a good job for years. Yes, you have. Retirement. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think we'll find another solution for this instead. I'm sure I can use this to beat up someone. Um, yeah, it has collected some dust in there. So I have the vacuum cleaner at hand. I want to do a bit of cleaning in there. I wonder what that is. So here are the rails for the HP storage box. And I'm hoping that I can, I don't want to get up and, oh, and find a cutting tool. So we are happy that this worked. Laziness, good. So we have a couple of rails here front, uh, so that must go this way, cool. And these are just 
click in place rails which is awesome and instead of um, all these screws so let's um let's just click this in place I need to do some cables behind here I see Okay, there is the storage box and there is the room for it. Now it just needs to uh, magically pop down there. But I need to uh, put in some screws to hold it in place in the rack. And I remember from mounting this one the first time that that was a lot of trouble. So I think I'll go and rewatch my own video and see where those, um, well, it's those square things here. Have to pop them in the right places. So. Um, Let's go watch some video. Okay, let's see what I did. Uh, I really need that wagon here. So I remove that one, put it up. Let's see, that one is space two, space three. Okay, space two, so that one. And then space three, one, two, three, four, there. I hope that's right. Otherwise, I'll go complain about my own video write an angry remark on it. Yeah. That's gonna be so much fun. Okay, there's not really enough room here. It's gonna be hill and it's heavy. Okay, that was a good butt shot, I'm sure. <sighs> Holy crisis. Oh, I have some cables in the way in there. <sighs> Meant to go there. Have to go check that. Awesome. Ish. Let's screw this in place, see if I have this little screwdriver that has the most necessary bits in the end of it. Uh, could that be it? I think that's shooter packet compatible. Very nice that I did it right on that video so I didn't have to think about it again. Uh, getting this in and out to place those uh, square uh, nuts there that would be irritating <sighs> Let's see if it works seems okay awesome here we are around the back and as we can see here my rack is not very deep, so it actually sticks out this part. So um, that's why <laughs> we uh, we did it this way. And it will be it would be impossible for me to uh, to get access to that UPS if that was sitting beneath it. So that's why I uh, took that out. And as this will probably get very heavy, it's a good idea to have the heaviest thing in the bottom to get the rack the best stability. I will again send my appreciations to my patrons who helped me uh, finance this awesome um, storage box and uh, if you are a patron of mine please remember to go check out the videos that I do post over at Patreon which is only available on Patreon. These are usually weekly updates of what videos did I do. So uh, if you were a patron last week you would know that this storage box uh, found its way into the data center and you would have been able to comment on that um, if there are something ingenious that you just happen to know would be a good idea um, I need to go get the power supplies for it and the fan blowers I took those out they um, they reduced the weight just a few kilograms and as uh, well this Viking has an office job yeah every kilogram helps 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.